we all know that most of decoder satellite decoder come out today without rf out so we are not able to share this picture to a, a second television or to more television in the house so we need to use a modulator we need to use a rf modulator because the rf modulator will allow us to take the signal from our decoder or from our dvr we take that signal we put it here and we come in out here on rf but it happened that you may come out your signal here on rf take it to your television either you don't have a good picture or you don't have a good sound or you don't even have a sound you got a picture what to do follow me till the end on this video i'll show you this modulator allow us to take the rc rca signal and convert it to rf and we take from rf we take it to our second television which we can even split it to many television okay why we do that we do that because our decoder these days doesn't have a rf output and we need to share this decoder to other room in the house or to more than two television in the house so that is the reason why we use a modulator and you have to know that modulator got two type you got one we call tv link modulator which is this one and we got the ordinary modulator what is the difference between these two the tv link modulator by using the tv link like this one by using the eyes like this one we will be able to change the channel in our next television in the room okay but if you use a modulator without the tv link you cannot use your remote to change the channel on that second television so if you are using the ordinary modulator like this one who doesn't have a tv link it's actually written there rf modulator and the other one is written tv link modulator so if you're using the ordinary modulator this one will allow you to take the signal rca via rca cable you take the signal via rca cable you're going to put that signal here and then you will come out with rf which is going to give you the picture on your second television or your third television and on this case you will always change the channel where the decoder is situated if your decoder is situated in your sitting room and then you are sending the signal to another bedroom you change the channel here and then you're going to change to all the television at the same time but if you use the tv link modulator this one and using this link you're going to put these eyes next to your television and you'll be able to change that channel next to that television without going to your city room where the decoder is. I hope you are getting it right. And then I want to tell you also, the modulator doesn't allow you to do extra view. Modulator is only to take the RCA cable signal and modulate it to RF so you can share it in the house or to another television. And you'll be able to watch the same thing in your sitting room. On DSTV, if you want to watch two different channels, you need to have two decoders. For the moment you got only one decoder, you can watch only the same channel even if you have 10 televisions in the house. So I want also to let you understand that. If you are using DSTV, if you got only one decoder in the house, even though you share the signal of that decoder to many television, you will never have a parallel signal. You will never have a parallel picture. You will never have an independent picture. You will only have the same picture on your television. You are, you're going to have the same picture on all your television. You can have a different picture on your television only if you have two decoder on extra view. You will have two different picture 
if you want to have three different pictures, you need to use three decoder in your house so that you can have three different pictures. That you have to understand it very well. That's why I'm saying the modulator is here to do a role of modulation. It's going to take the signal on AV. It's going to change that signal to RF to allow you to share this signal to other television. But remember that you have the same picture as you get you are getting in your sitting room. So the modulator doesn't give you extra view. It only allows you to change the AV signal to RF. So we're having the RF signal. It will allow you to share the same signal to many television. Remember the former decoder like this one used to have RF out, RF in. And then we could have used this, the RF out, to share to many television. And they have a HDMI and the RCA. But the decoder which we have currently in the market doesn't have RF out, not RF in. It got the HDMI cable output and then it got the AV output so because the manufacturer have removed the rf out on this decoder that's why we are using the modulator before this modulator was built in the decoder but this day they have removed the modulator i don't know for which reason maybe to reduce the cost of the decoder so now or maybe not to allow us to share the signal to uh, many television in the house. But now, if you got your modulator, you're going to convert the AV to that modulator and you will come out of the modulator with RF. You'll be able to share it now to many television. Okay? So, on your decoder, you still have a HDMI. You can connect it straight to your first television. And now you take the AV one, you put to your modulator, and you can share it to second television, even to third television by using the multiple switch. I hope you're getting the point. Guys, don't forget to subscribe on this channel because in this channel we share. And for that, before I go and explain it to you, please do subscribe and let's go and share. At the back of your decoder, at the back of your decoder, as you can see here, we got this plot. Your, that's how your decoder is connected. We got this one, which is the power supply, 12 volt power supply. We got this one, which is the AV output, RCA cable. We got this one, which is the HDMI, HDMI output going to your primary TV. This one also go to your primary TV. We got this connection, which is actually the USB output we're going to use this place to power our modulator and this one is actually our lmb the cable going outside to the dish so now because this decoder doesn't have a rf out we're going to use the av output to supply a modulator which going to give us the rf out so keep watching I will show you how to connect your modulator to this decoder so that you can supply your second television, even the third one. Okay? Keep watching. Okay, guys. You can check at the moment. You can see the white cable. The white cable is my power supply. It's the power supply USB output. We're going to give the power to my modulator, as you can see. So look here, if you see there, this is our white cable. This white cable is the one who supplied the modulator. Here we got a TV link modulator, meaning this modulator, we can use the remote on the second television. Now, here we got RCA cable. That RC cable is the one coming from the decoder. This is the one coming from the decoder. And here we got your RF out. 
this RF out is the one going to your television in the second room. This is the way you connect it. So that's how your decoder will be. This is how your decoder will be. And from there, we're going to have your modulator like this. Like I say, you can use the TV link modulator or you can use the ordinary modulator like this one. I'm going to show you in my next video what is the difference between the two modulator and how you can connect the two modulator. Okay? So, now, after you do this installation, you may have a problem. You may have a problem with sound. You may have a problem with picture. I just want to show you something here. Okay? After you do the connection at it is, you may not have a clear picture on your RF. You have to remember on this button written channel. On the channel plus, yeah, on the channel plus, if you press it for like three seconds, what happened on the, what going to happen there? Let's press it, you see. It's showing us NTSC. So if you are in the country which the reception of the television is on NTST, you leave it here. But if you are on PAL, you press it again, and PL, that is PAL. In South Africa, we use PAL. So if you are in South Africa, you must use PAL. That is to correct your picture. But if you have a problem with the sound, remember, if you are using PAL, it can be PAL, 6.5 mega x pal 5.5 mega x or pal 6.0 mega x in south africa is 6.0 mega x so we press this channel minus see what happened this is 6.5 mega x it can still work in south africa 6.5 or you go to 6 mega x also this is 4.5 this is 5.5 and then we go to six. So you understand that by pressing channel plus for three seconds, you'll be changing the system of the picture, the system of the color, PAL or NTSC. Pressing the channel minus more than six seconds, you will be changing the system of the sound, the frequencies of the sound. So if you have a problem of sound, press it five seconds and release. See if it's changed. If it doesn't change, you keep press it again three seconds and release. If it change, till it change and give you a proper sound. Okay. Now, if you press the channel normally, with the, press it for long, like three seconds, you'll be changing the the channel number. Okay. If you are in South Africa, I would advise you to keep it on number twenty two. Number 22 is already have a good frequency for you to watch your second television. I hope this video was very interesting for you. If you want to watch this kind of video, please do subscribe so that we can share together and grow together. My name is Alphonse Foucault. See you next time in our next video.